What's going on YouTube? Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear. And today we've got another knife review. Today we're going to be talking about this knife, the Spyderco Shaman. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be talking about this knife here called the Spyderco Shaman. Uh, I, I do love Spyderco knives. I have to admit, this is one of my favorite knives from Spyderco as of right now. This thing is uh, is great, and the, one of the reasons that it's great is this beautiful uh, contour G10 uh, handles. Uh, this thing is so comfortable in the hand. Uh, a lot, a lot more comfortable than uh, something like your paramilitary two. Uh, oh, excuse me, para, yeah, paramilitary two. It's a little bit more blocky. Not that, not that I don't love this knife because I do love this knife, but uh, the the ergonomics on this thing is absolutely great. You can see you get a a full grip there. I got large hands, and you have this finger troll where you can get. Uh, and jumping in just the right place where you can get up really close to do those uh, those detailed cuts. Um, it's got a high saber grind uh, on the blade. You can see where the saber grind ends right there. This is an uh, CPM S30V steel. This is also one made in Golden, Colorado, uh, here in the United States. Uh, it does have the compression lock. And, oh man, I just love Spyderco's compression lock. If you don't own a Spyderco, um, you need to at least go handle one that has the uh, compression lock. It's it's just so much fun. Uh, there's a lot of videos out on YouTube where people, there's only one complaint, and because most people love this knife, the only one complaint that people have is you see where that bit of blade is that comes out right there? That's, the, uh, that's this part that kind of keeps your finger from going off into the blade. When you do the compression lock and it comes back, your finger is right here, and so this tends to hit your finger. Uh, so yeah, when I first got it, it did it to me, and it wasn't the most pleasant thing in the world, but I've gotten now to where I, I just move my finger out of the way. I've got it to where I can drop shut it, and my finger's out of the way, and it does just fine. All right, this knife is about eight inches in overall length. It's got a uh, blade length of about 3.58 inches. Uh, the cutting edge is just over three inches, so you guys that have that uh, particular uh, restriction in your state, and that sucks. Uh, <coughs> the uh, blade thickness is about 130, or oh, I'm sorry, about 150, because it's a it's a beefy, beefy knife. It's got a lot of blade stock there, which is this this knife is made for work. Uh, absolutely a, a beast, uh, especially with the compression lock. It's it's you know it's it's very very sturdy. It's not going to come apart or close on you. Um, but this thing is a workhorse. It's got a nice blade shape. Uh, you know, it's relatively thin behind the edge, so it does slice very well. Um, it's a great, great knife. Let's see if we can get a weight on this guy. Going back to the old scale, guys. Let's see here. Spyderco Shaman coming in at about 5.2 ounces. Not a not a particularly light knife, but uh, not bad at all. Uh, I've been carrying this thing. I mean, I've I've had it for a little while, and carry this, and it it uh, fits very well in the pocket. It has your Spyderco basic pocket clip with a lanyard hole uh, in the center of it. Uh, it's got your back spacer here, still liners, uh, and I don't know if you can see. You might be able to see that just a little bit. It does have some milling out in the liners to to kind of help with the weight. Uh, reverse flick, always great on a Spyderco with the Spidey hole. Fidget factor is high on this one. You guys know that I love my fidget factor and that's one of the reasons that I love Spyderco. Spyderco does a great job. Let's do a couple of size comparisons. Like I brought back the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. You can see pretty close to that size. We also have the Spyderco Manix 2. All of these knives are pretty close. You got a little bit wider of a blade here on the on the uh, the Shaman than you do the Manix Two, and especially the uh, the Paramilitary Two. Uh, we got the ah, oh fail the Ontario Rat One. Uh, Ontario Rat One's coming in a little bit longer 
Then your shaman, shaman. <laughs> Nick Shabazz calls this the shaman, and so I watch a lot of his videos, and of course that's why I keep calling it the the shaman. Uh, but it is pronounced shaman. Here it is against the uh, tenacious. Um, you know the the budget version for or a budget knife uh, offering from Spider Co. Wearing the copper handles. You can see, guys, the patina is doing pretty good there on this copper. Love that stuff. Uh, but anyway, uh, I picked this knife up from a local knife store uh, called Knives and More in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. If you guys live anywhere close to North Alabama or Southern Tennessee, you need to go check him out. He's got a great selection of knives, and uh, he's uh, very, very competitively priced. An awesome guy named John is very knowledgeable, uh, very helpful. He's just a super guy. So if you live in this area, please go check him out. Um, anyway, that's that's about sums it up for this knife. Uh, it, it, to sum it all up, I love it. Probably one of my favorite Spydercos that I own right now. Um, so if that tells you anything, if you're thinking about getting it, I mean, the, the, the bad thing is <laughs> Spyderco originally released these knives a few years back. Actually, it might even be more than a few years. And they were around 150, 160 bucks. Uh, then there was a spice, a price hike at Spider Co. And now these things are around $200, just a little over like 202. So not crazy about that, but I bought it and it is absolutely worth it. Uh, if you're lucky enough to be able to get this thing at 150 bucks, then, uh, kudos to you. But the rest of us have to pay full price. Uh, and because of the spice, the uh, God, I can't say that word. Price hike. There we go. And um, but I still think it's it's very worth it. Very well worth it. Um, if you have any questions on the knife, uh, feel free to ask. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And we will see you in the next one. Absolutely love. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love. I absolutely love it. Oh, I can't quit saying that. All right, you get it. Oh, I can't even breathe it. Ah, ah.